Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Lex Play. Okay, we're back. We're back, and I'm like three levels higher. And uh, I've got some humanity. I guess if you want to look at my stats before I go in, there you go. That's what we're looking at. Um, oh, okay. Oh, there, there was an explanation the whole time? Oh, my God. Oh, this explains everything. I oh, mean, now I finally know what everything does. <laughs> I literally could have told you anything you just had to ask. I know, but I, I never... That was the thing is like I always had to rely on you because I was like I thought it was just memorization I thought that was something you didn't that wasn't in the game, but the game tells you it just <laughs> you just had to ask. I find out now at the twilight of my life. What is this world? Oh wow, it's later than I thought it was. Sorry for keeping you up so late, Mr. James. Yeah, it's fine. It's almost midnight. It's cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how late you end up staying up. Oh, I mean it's the weekend, whatever. I'm usually I'm usually up to like 2 a.m. whether I like it or not. <laughs> Especially now that I got off my heartburn med. I, I have like oh. I call it heartburn, but it's actually like acid reflux. It's like it gets caused by pretty much anything. I think one day I ate like buttered toast and it gave me heartburn. <laughs> it's like you butter know toast. the least the least acidic thing you could possibly eat like white bread with with butter on it. <laughs> And water, and they're like, no, no, that's too acidic for your stomach. I hope you like hours of heartburn. Uh, and I took some, I, I had some medicine for it. Oh. That other guy's right behind me, isn't he? Ooga booga he booga. Follow me this far. There we go. He might. I wouldn't look at him though. <laughs> I wouldn't look at him. Follow. He's following me. The other guy was following me. I'm not sure if you could see that really quick, but he was stuck on something. Yeah, he said he encountered an incline, and he was just like, "Oh, I don't know how to up." I don't know how to up. I don't know how to up and then down. That's that's too much. Ha <laughs> ha! Leaf Erickson. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ninja roll. I can't take this. I can. I will take it all the way to the bank. Ha <laughs> ha! Invincibility. All right, Gwen. Let's go. All right, you're going. Don't grabbed. Maybe wait until he's actually done an attack before healing. You have learned nothing. He's a master of roll catches. All right. Nope. Just can't. What did I tell you about spamming parry? <laughs> was I even doing the animations? How'd you know I was parry? Cause I could see your character trying to. Trying desperately. <laughs> well, it's like I can't. I can't roll. He'll just catch me in the roll. You have to roll into the swings. It's so counterintuitive. No, it's not. It's stuff I taught you in the beginning, but you don't play the game right. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I tried to skill him, and all he wanted to do is cheese. Cheese! <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what, what Drew does with Dark Souls 2. I think I think I said I was going to try to go for an all-ranged thing. And oh, jeez. just my way. That's viable in Dark Souls 2, right? Ha <laughs> Yeah. Kind of. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> Maybe-ish. I mean, I'm not gonna say it took till Dark Souls 3 for bows to be somewhat useful, but they're still shit. But, what was um. That? You he just like, got booped in the face. He, like, fell on me. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's. that's I'm so embarrassed that it really happens. <laughs> that guy's, like, farther up on the bridge than he normally is. That's weird. I think the only time I've ever seen somebody using the bows in Dark Souls 2 was just to be a cheesy dickbag in PvP. Just because you could roll catch the crap out of people Story with it. Story of my life, I drive all night. Oh no. Oh yes. Well, there goes all those uh, humanities. He's just spamming the same attack! Well, you figure uh. you'd be able to read that if it's the same attack. Or you could just, you know, run I, past him. I just him. thought he would... I, how you run past? He's on this tiny little thing. 
you, you just run past him. That's fine. If there was a huge boost from those humanities, I, I didn't feel it. I think you survived one more swing than you would have. <laughs> that swing didn't help me much. What I need is a better Estus Flask, clearly. That's the only way I'm going to survive and win. Either that or I need I to level up my health bar, so how... Or maybe, maybe you just is, need to I, get I good. Is there a level cap in this game? Yeah. So if you put, like, nothing into any stat except for except for the, the health stat, how far across the screen could you get the bar? Um, I think, I think the highest health you can get is, like, 2,200. What am I at now? Like, 15. Oh. I want to get to 2,200. <laughs> You're not going to get to 2200. You'd oh. need 99 levels in one thing, and you'd also need all of the health increasing <laughs> items also on. <clears throat> it's not going to happen. Even with that, I wonder how many hits it would take uh, Gwen to kill you. You would survive maybe three more hits. Damn. No fair. It's oh. fair. Yeah, you can't parry a shield. There we go, I finally did it. Oh, did that kill him? Oh no, it didn't. I thought, because you gave me that ring too that gives me the uh, increased The stuff. hornet ring. Yeah. Now see, now it takes two backstabs instead of three. Gotcha. It's not a giant increase, but it's a nice increase. Okay, he fell off, I'm good. Everything's happy. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, so so I had the heartburn stuff. I know people really love to hear this, but I figured it couldn't hurt to, to give people updates about my health. Why are so many people fighting Gwen right now? Because he's hard. It seems like there's more every time I show up. Okay. Alright, Gwen. There we go! There you go, you did almost two bars for the repost on that instead of like one and a half. Never turn your back to the enemy! I forgot that it. I forgot that it unblock unlocks me whenever I do one of those for some reason. <laughs> no, Gwen! Stand up and spin! Watch for his hand, he might try to grab. There you no, go. No, Gwen! <laughs> oh! He went for the fast. Oh, come on, Gwen. Don't nope. be a dickbag. Uh, ah. He, like, staggers me. Why can't you knock me down like a regular boss? I almost had him there. I'm sure there's some, like, master of parries, like, Twitch streamer who just runs down and is like, No, Gwen. No, you're not allowed to hit... Away with I mean... <laughs> I mean, if I were playing, I'd probably be doing that right now. <laughs> but you're not playing. You're no. You're to watch. I have to sit here and cringe every time. At the, the timing, I'm just like, not gonna work. No. Not gonna work. No. no, it's like, as soon as I see the animation story, I was like, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Just every time, it's too late. <laughs> well, they can save him now. I just get so focused on, like, the timing of that button, and then when I have to roll, I'm like, oh, which button is roll? I forget. That one. The, the one next to your finger. Oh, they're all there. They're all next to my finger. Hit, why? I need a two-hand <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I got a two-hand this... But yeah, that was so. So I had the super bad heartburn. I went to the doctor. I got some medicine for it. Uh, they put. They're like, we're gonna put you on this medicine. See how it works. We're gonna put you on it for two months. And I'm gonna take you off it for a month. And then we're gonna we're gonna go back in for a checkup and see what's up. And so that's. I was on it for two months, and it was like, it was like a whole new world. It was like that Aladdin thing, except for I was just like eating pizza and sleeping on my right side, which I can't do currently. Because, like I said, toast gives me bad heartburn. Eating pizza is like 48 hours of heartburn. <laughs> They're like, it's just nothing but grease and, and spicy meats. Like, no, what are you doing? Stop. 
And just I have get to a cheese I have pizza. To sleep like sitting up and no, even the the cheese. I'll just get like get a pizza, but without the sauce or the cheese. <laughs> That's just bread. That's just buttered toast. I've already <laughs> been through that. <laughs> no, it's it's better. It's oven cooked toast. It's oven toast. It's very expensive <laughs> toast. I want pepperoni, but no sauce and no cheese. Nope. <laughs> I tried. Grab. I tried. Ow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gwen. Oh, jeez. Why did he do that so close? That's not... The, no. Rude. Pokey stick. Oh, now they just got you to the middle. You see the shields bobbing back and forth yeah. over there. All right. Oh, damn it. Not close enough. Ah. Oh. I thought after three he was done, but he kept going. I really just need to get that. I need to get that initial jump, and then once I get the momentum, where I can knock him down, then I'm good. Mac Dad will make you jump, jump. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. You forgot Daddy Mac. <laughs> you did Daddy Mac. I did. Chris I said Cross. Mac Daddy. Oh. You gotta do the other guy, he's there too. Actually, didn't Let's, one of them die recently? I thought it was Criss Cross and Mac Daddy. He's a miggity 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 Mac Daddy. Yeah, there's they're two. They're, yeah, and the other one is Criss Cross. No, they're, gr both of them are called Criss Cross. Oh. Which that, one's Chris then? It's, I thought one guy's name was Christopher Cross and the other guy's name was Mac Daddy. In the song, they say, he says Mac Daddy, then he says Daddy Mac for the other guy. Huh. So they're, like, and then their names are supposed to be backwards. Interesting. Because Cross Chris sounded stupid. <laughs> I'm guessing. But I can't remember, like, I, I could have sworn, like, last, it was either earlier this year or sometime last year, like, one of them died. I heard it on the radio. <coughs> I don't know. I can't remember, though. I didn't even know about them in the in the first place. Like I wasn't around for that song to be really all that popular. I was because uh, Radio Disney was a thing, and uh, my sister was obsessed with it, and that was one of the songs they played a lot. Interesting. I mostly know it because uh, Spoonie on the Spoonie Experiment. He had a thing where he played all these like bad games that were on the Jaguar that used like FMVs, and one of them was like make the video. Where it was like this weird, stupid thing where you like remixed parts of like existing music videos in a very limited manner, and one of them was was that was uh, the Criss Cross song. I just remember he like spammed "Miggity Miggity 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 Mac Daddy" like eight times in a row while spazzing <laughs> out. <laughs> there Come on, go. Gwen. Go for the parry. Oh, no, parry! Two. He did the do. Do the do. All right, come on. Let's go. Nope, you didn't get it. I missed the thing. He's like, did you just parry me? You can't parry his hand. I <laughs> thought his sword was coming in. But he started running forward with his hand out. Oh, he's gonna jump. Yep, oh, that's not. That's not what? a. That's not how you dodge. That's how you get that. That turn your back to the enemy. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> I started so good. At least I know if I just run right at, at him, I think I can get the timing right. Just so much salty, run back! So I guess he, here's your chance, James. It, it, was there anything about this game that we missed? Or that uh, you'd like to make known about, about your experiences with the game? I don't think you've ever told your story. Like, what was your first playthrough like with this? Were you looking up stuff online, or did you go into it blind? I I did like everything I could to not see anything of it and I rage quit the game twice. <laughs> the first time I rage quit it was like um, it was more like a boredom quit cuz I did not know that the stairwell went around the side in Firelink to go <laughs> downward cuz it just didn't look like it did and I couldn't figure out where to go so I just got bored and gave up and then I came back and played the game like 3 months later just like started completely over just happened upon that felt like an idiot. And then the first time I actually stopped playing and rage quit was at the Taurus Demon. Because I didn't know about the dogs or, like, how to deal with them, so... I'm trying to remember what the Taurus Demon was. That was the one where you ran up the stairs up onto the oh, corner. Oh, yeah, and then yeah. The, oh, no, wait, no, that's the, the Kappa Demon. 
Um, or yeah, the Kappa Demon, not the Taurus oh, Demon. Okay, gotcha. The Kappa Kappa Demon. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of smooth sailing through there, though. The only time I ever looked anything up was like I, I, I had just heard that Ash Lake existed, and I wanted to find it, and I spent like, I, I'm serious, like two hours in Blight Town looking all over the friggin' place for the stupid entrance. And I finally was like, fuck it, I'm looking it up, this is bullshit. And then I was really pissed to find out it was behind, like, three uh, illusionary walls. <laughs> it's like, this is some convoluted bullcrap. So, I, I never <laughs> went to Ash Lake, then, I'm guessing, that I remember. I don't think you did. Is there anything in there of importance? I guess not. The, uh, the Dragon Covenant is down there. Uh. But you weren't really going to be doing a dragon run. No. That's, that's some next level, that's some next level shit. Perry? Perry! <laughs> Perry! Katie parried! So you dare heal in my presence? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay. Don't. Damn it! Uh, I, did, uh... I keep confusing his arm <laughs> movements for his. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on his sword, is the problem. And then I confuse the roll button with the not roll button. I guess I'm supposed to roll towards him when he jumps at me. Yes. <laughs> so he lands on the other side of me. Gotcha. Yeah, because I forget, like, because, what was it? Uh, this wasn't actually my very first thing with Dark Souls. Um, I had a friend who tried to get me into Dark Souls. But I literally only played it for, like, half an hour. And basically, what was it? He, he basically went through the tutorial for me. I just remember he started me in Firelink, and he was like, ha just handed me a controller, and he's like, explore, anywhere you see you can go. And I immediately went to the uh, skeletons. And then died. Yeah. And I died over and over again. He's like, maybe you don't want to fight the skeletons. I'm like, but I want to fight the skeletons. And I believe back then they were, like, if you killed them, they respawned, or they, you, they couldn't be killed or something. Oh, he was probably, he probably had you playing it, like, in one of the earlier patches, because originally the skeletons, like, right outside of Firelink, they would not stay dead. Yeah. Like, they, once they were, when they died, they would just get back up. Like, I had a big whole thing where it was like, I needed, I was like, I wanted to kill these skeletons, and I finally, like, managed to kite one away, and, and defeat it in battle, and then I went on to the second one, and it, the first one got up. Like, he just reformed. And then my friend got kind of tired of watching me fail a bunch, and I got tired of... Failing? <laughs> yeah, failing a whole bunch. So he took the controller and was like, no, look, this is how you not noob. No, then we just turned the game off and did something else. Oh. Uh... So that's See, like... that's, a, that's a shitty introduction. Yeah. You don't, t you don't do the tutorial for somebody and then say, okay, here's the game you, you've never played before. Just go in. Just wander around wherever. Just explore. It's magical wonderland, and also everything will kill you in two hits. Have fun. Yep. Like, I get what he was trying to do. Whoops. He's trying to be whimsical. He, he was just trying to be the thing that's like, you know, find it out on your own. Was it Brandon? No. Oh, okay, that just sounds like a Brandon it thing. Was, it was Fish <laughs> Criminal. Oh, it was? Yeah. Shame. Oh! Now, do I have time to heal? I don't think I do. You don't really need to heal. You have fine health. You gotta step forward to do it, remember? There we go. I thought Lord Gwyn was like a huge, tall giant or something. I mean, he's like almost Damn double it. your height. I realized at the last second that that was his hand. Yeah, there's really just no point in trying to heal, because that's when I always die, is when I try to heal. The only way you can heal is to run away from him, like, unlock, and just burst run over to one of the piles, and then, like, make his AI bug out and try to hit the wall. <laughs> it is the only way to, to get a reliable heal off. Hmm. Either that or stop trying to chug and just heal once and then dodge toward him and then heal again after he's done, you know, throwing himself around like a nut. He's just a nut. He just never gets tired of fighting things. 
But yeah, you'll have to comment in the comments with uh, with with your your experiences with Dark Souls. Go ahead, write up a big long thing. Why not? Or or you could just do a short thing if you've never played it before, or if you're just like I enjoyed it, but I never got super into it. Although it's I've never met the the few people I've met who who do like Dark Souls are always like really into Dark Souls. That's because there's two kind of people that play Dark Souls. There's the person that plays it because somebody said it was good, and then they never played it again because they got their ass kicked. Wait, what is that? And then, oh shit! I thought you encountered one of those. No, I don't think so. Um, that is a vagrant, and um, you should kill it. That means somebody with a large amount of souls died over here. Now pick up its thing. But don't die to this. Oh, too late. It fell off. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Basically, that thing is, uh, like, if somebody with a massive amount of, of uh, oh no, it's a massive amount of humanity dies. Like me? No, I'm talking, like, 40 plus soft humanity. Ah. Uh. They will actually manifest vagrants in other people's worlds. I can't... Actually, was that a white one? Or was yeah. It? Okay, yeah, the white one, so that one would have had a, uh... That would have had, like, a item. Huh. Like, what kind of item? Rarity kind of depends, but usually it's a rare item. I can't see! He's running so fast, he's taking over the camera. <laughs> That's my camera! <laughs> Get away! Stop it! I have business with Gwen, not with you! I've got that down, alright? <laughs> I just need to stop thinking that he's he's trying to do stuff. No, I backed away! You have to roll. I have Your to rolling roll. makes you invincible. How do you forget this? Alright. There you go, you could have healed there. Healing dead. You said the only way I could heal is run away from him. That wasn't running away. You were still locked on, I know. staring him down like he's just like, I'm still watching you. You got nothing. Because I know he's going to jump at me. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Well, I just wish I had enough stamina. I could just run all the way there. It's like, Joe, you can't even go down the stairs without running out of stamina. I know. I want a lot of stamina. You can't get that much stamina. I want a pure stamina build. <laughs> Nothing not, else. I'm never going to spend souls on anything but stamina. The only reason the stamina thing is working for you is because you have enough health to, to tank through stuff. Damn that... it. <laughs> what was that? I got the roll button and the parry button confused. I mean, hey, if this was Dark Souls 3, you could have parried him like that. <laughs> no, you, Dark... could, you can parry people facing the wrong way. Dark... It's, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> He didn't even try to attack, he just like, he's just he like, did. oh, oh where it's you, you going? again. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Alright, my hands are under the table, so I can't cover them when I cough. I'm sure Joe in editing is, like, lowering the volume on it or something. Great. No, that's fine. Why would I want to fight when? I could just die to this guy. It's pretty fun. You know the dying thing? Like all these loading screens, they're pretty neat. You learn, yeah. You're learning stuff. You, you learn about blue Titanite chunks for the fifth time. <laughs> look, look, you, you learn about Big Hat. There's Big Hat. He's got a big hat. He's His name is hat. Logan, but nobody cares about that because he's got a hat. They call him Big Hat. His hat is big. And he's got a big hat. Oh, what was it? There's some song that I'm thinking of now. They call him Cat Face. He's got the face of a cat. Because he's got a cat face. And he's a face cat. Or something like that. That's weird. Look up Face Cat on YouTube, since you're looking up stuff on YouTube anyway. What are, are you looking up, uh... I'm trying to find the first day we started playing this. It's like, how long has this actually taken? It's too long. Okay, so we... The first episode... 
was put up on the 20th of July in 2015. So like more than two years. What? We'll tell them the, the today's date just so future people know. Today's date is... Was it the 11th? No. Yeah, it's Shouldn't the 11th. On your phone. It's a, the 11th of November, 2017. So. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Granted, the way the way my channel works, I, I I alternate between different games. So it's not like we've been playing this constant. Well, I mean, you know, if you're watching this, you've seen the rest of the episodes. I'm hoping you didn't tune in. Just well. Actually, never mind. Someone might have tuned in just to see me face Lord Gwyn. Probably. Kind of like me, I don't watch football through the year, and then I watch the Super Bowl just to see how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Gwen, same old song and dance. <laughs> I mean, you got the first parry down, that's good. Yep, I it's see. just the, all the, the subsequent parries. No, no, damn it! <laughs> I did it again. I was like, okay, he's coming up for the you jump. Just watch his other hand. The backswing. Get to the ha the happy rocks. Happy rocks. That's not a happy rock. I don't know what a happy rock is. <laughs> the big ones. These they, ones. They can't jump over. His sword still goes through them though. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to not worry about healing at all. This healing's not a thing you can do against Gwen. Nope, you just just twenty S this is the that's the uh that's the end joke. Yeah. You have twenty, but you'll use zero. Just 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 pro parry. It's like as soon as he stands up, parry. He stands up, parry. He stands up, parry. I'll parry his standing up. <laughs> parry his standing up animation. Yeah. By the way, there is a so um this is uh this is a glitch that never got fixed because it turned into a pro strat. Try locking on. <laughs> um, so if you're getting stun locked, if you switch, if you spam the switch weapon button and roll at the same time, you'll actually break the stun lock. I don't think I can do that. And it's like it's. I'm, I'm having enough trouble just trying to remember which ones roll and which ones parry, without having to like. I mean, you're spamming roll. You're spamming roll anyways, so just spam another button while rolling. <laughs> well, what if, if I spam roll when I don't have a direction to roll in? Because I have to use, use backstep. My... I used to... Oh, okay. And at least in this, backstepping is like... It has poise on it. Oh, God! He's right there! <laughs> he wants the booty. See, you can run past him. He's easy. But I'm scared! I just don't know. Someone who knows more about game design is gonna have to tell me like, what's what's the what's the idea behind making you run all the way back? Like, is there some? Oh god. Okay. Adds to difficulty. Makes you waste your resources to get to the boss, so it's more of a challenge. Somewhat. It's like this is this is challenge enough, isn't it? Nope. No, no! Why? How, Why me? How are you not able to read that? It's the slowest attack he has. <laughs> there you go. Drink, 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 drink. One drink. Just one drink. And, and then... Parry. Back away. Okay. Nope. Nope. You got you got to get him to like when he's got the two-handed. That's when you got to be trying to parry him, because the two-handed is slower. That instantaneous one-arm bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> Just like nothing. It's like you'd figure it'd be faster with two hands, but nope, he slows down for some reason. No, it just it makes me wonder how much like if they they test. Like I get with the other ones where they're like they're trying to condition you when running back to the bosses to to. Uh, I don't know, what are they trying to condition you to do? Because the best strategy is not to learn how to fight them, it's to run past them. Like, and obviously that adds to the difficulty, but is it just... The whole thing about Dark Souls was that, that the difficulty wasn't supposed to be artificial, it was about skill. 
I mean, this kind of goes into that. It's like when you get, you know, you're so skilled now that you can just dodge every enemy, run straight to the boss without taking a hit. So you've wasted none of your resources on little peons. You can just get straight to the big guy. Maybe? I don't know. But it's like, you know, the, the whole thing is like, I feel like if I started right outside, if I could just restart against Gwen, like... I would like I, it would be so much easier because you still like know how to fight but now you have to switch modes from like fight mode into run mode and then to fight mode again because there are different skills that you need for the different sections of them maybe they're trying to teach you to dodge <laughs> trying to teach you to dodge all over the place but trying to teach you how that B button works you can't dodge Gwen Gwen is undodgeable you can dodge him, it's He's just a... you can't dodge him. That's what I meant! <laughs> I, I can't can... dodge Gwen! I can dodge him. I mean, come on, you're parrying one of the hardest attacks he has to parry almost every time now. That's because the timing's easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Okay. Nope. Yep. His change-up game is too good. <laughs> but I avoided the grab this time. Oh, wait, I just remembered something. Well, there's some cheese way to cheese him the whole time. and I just... More cheese. Um, remember that Black Knight shield you have? That thing's got, like, 95% block on fire and his attacks are fire. You could just be using that, because that still has a parry. Yeah, but if I miss the parry, does it really matter? Well, it's a better shield. Because, like, right now, when you're blocking with this thing, you're taking all of the damage anyways. That's not the right one. Oh. That's a hollow shield. You gotta read the names, Joe. <laughs> it just looked like a black knight shield that a black knight would have. You saying all shields look the same? Yeah. That shield is... Did you ever get a... I thought you got a Black Knight shield. Nope. Guess not. Oh, well, you're fucked. <laughs> I don't know. Find another one that's got really high fire resistance that isn't that piece of shit. <laughs> you can't parry with the big shield. Uh, but this one has health regen. So if I can just block and guide away. It's not that high. It's oh, very... Oh, it's different. It's the, it's the better. Objectively better. This one's a lot more reactive than the other one, because the other one has, like, a startup to it. But it has yeah, but more I... frames for the parry. But this one, it, this one is, like, a, sort of like an instant one, so you might be able to actually... It's like, when he goes to do the fast swings with the one hand, if you block first and then parry, you should be able to block the first hit, parry the second hit. Okay. Let me practice on this guy real quick. I mean, it's not like I'm wasting Estus fighting these guys. Oh, you know. It's more of a waste of time, if, if anything. Yeah. Did he die in two? Yep. Okay, good. More Titanite. Titan so this seems like the best place to farm Titanite. Yep. Well, chunks anyways. Chunks are suck, though. No, chunks are the good thing. Oh, they are? Shards of the poop thing. <laughs> the damn poop thing. The damn dirty poops. Whoa! No anime for you. You've had enough. You get all hopped up on sugar, you start <laughs> watching anime, next thing I know, you're boning, boning the pillow. No one likes that. Not the pillow. What? At least it's not, not me. What? Yeah. You've been watching some weird shit. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Anime. <laughs> What anime are you watching that involves boning the pillow? Um, all anime. I've been watching the wrong Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. The one where Sasuke bones a pillow is like the best episode. <laughs> and the timing. There we go. Get animated. Get animated. No one's boning a pillow on my watch. <laughs> 
Might as well. <laughs> I was gonna say, might as well go to full. You're never gonna use them all. No way. I just hope I can still get that timing off on him on on the initial thing. Weird how I seem to be fast. I this is a lighter shield, but it's so much bigger. Well, it's not lighter than the thing you had to start with. It was just lighter than the hollow shield. Ah. Because the hollow shield was four. <laughs> Air stabbed. <laughs> I knew what was coming. Haha, <laughs> -ha, no more stabs for you. So let's see if he can still do it. Yep. Yep. See? Easy. Easy is not a word for this. <laughs> okay. No? Okay. No! I got it. <laughs> there you yes! go. In the dick! <laughs> okay. Just gotta watch that hand. Oh. No, no! That was... I wanted to roll. He falcon punched me. More like falcon dick grabbed you. I did it! I healed versus Gwen! <laughs> Successfully! Now I'm scared. I don't know where I'm doing. Okay. Let's go. No! That's the thing that I did! <laughs> Damn it. This is what people came to see. <laughs> Fuck! Lore of ass is more like it. Ass balls. That's what he is. He's nothing but ass balls. No wonder everyone wants him dead. I'm running with the shield up. No one can hurt me. Let's just hope they don't attack my feet. That's, that's Captain America's one weakness that no one seems to take advantage of. They never just shoot him in the feet. No, they just shoot at the shield. Yeah. That was a star. Shoot the star. It, it's freedom. Kill it. <coughs> the Nazis' one weakness: stars. <laughs> I don't know. It's so captivating. I don't know what to do with it. I gotta shoot it. I mean, either that or just send the guy with the giant robot arm to steal it from him. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why he kept getting it, and then he would like throw it. I saw that for the first time yesterday. Or rather, I saw, like, the first half of it. What, Captain America? The, the Winter Soldier. Oh, love that movie. Yeah, it was it was pretty pretty nice from what I saw. So, I really, you, so, I, you, at least, so you at least saw the, uh, the fight in the streets. Yeah. I stopped around the time the guy was, like, whispered Hail Hydra, and then he, like, uh... Hail Hydra. Yeah. Hail Hydra. He whispered it, and the guy was like, what? Like, he didn't even notice or care. He's just like, eh, whatever. He's like, Hail Hydra. He's like, uh, what? He's like, what? I'm a sleazy businessman. Just let me go be sleazy somewhere. I'm never going to show up in the narrative ever again. And then that guy got thrown in front of a boss. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently in the comic books, he comes back as a zombie or something. What? Yeah, that, that guy who betrayed S.H.I.E.L.D. like comes back as a zombie in the comic books. Okay. <laughs> I forget because he was like an important character prior to that I think I don't know I never watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. so I don't know any of the characters I just know I like I liked the first I saw the first Captain America movie in um in theaters and I famously went in there saying like the only re the only way I'll ever like this movie is if he punches Hitler in the jaw and he did <laughs> but not in the way I was expecting. But I like the fact that they still included it. <laughs> if you've not not seen that movie, like they they make him a super soldier, but then they're like, we don't want to send him into battle, so they just use them as like a propaganda thing. And he did this like stage show where a man dressed up like Hitler is like, stop! You can't be America and freedom. And he like punches him in the face. <laughs> and then later on, I 
Doesn't he say he's like, I punched Hitler in the face 47 times? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Gwen. No. I think you're backing up too far is one of the issues. I'm just too afraid of that. You just keep going for parries. You keep the parry spam. It's the only thing I can do at that point. <laughs> no, it's not. You, If you have the animation to parry spam and I can see it, because you're doing it, you have the animation to be able to dodge. <laughs> but if I dodge backwards, I'm dead. You dodge forwards. But he hit so fast. I can't you tell which way he's going. It doesn't matter. Whenever you're rolling, you're invincible. That iframes. Take advantage of the bullshit mechanic. I try. <laughs> I try every Tim. <laughs> I try every Tim. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I don't need that. Literally, do not need that. Yep. Okay, let's try running past everyone again. Save up some. Save up some energy. Okay, good. You guys can attack each other. I'll go fight Gwen. Good strategy. <laughs> it's the who killed Captain Alex strategy. I forget, did I show you that? I don't think I so. keep bringing that up to people. It's uh, that I hate everything guy. He reviewed this movie called Who Killed Captain Alex. Who killed him? And, um, no one knows, actually. It's a mystery. He just sort of like winds up dead off camera. But it's like this action movie made in Uganda for like a budget of $200. This guy li literally like sold his house and then made a bunch of bricks and sold those and then bought like a professional movie camera and then like started making movies like in towns where, where electricity often goes away for weeks at a time. Like just using actors who are mostly working for free but, like, he still manages to have, like, green screens and stuff like that, and, like, some visual effects. He has a computer he built himself. Damn. That he uses. And it's, 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 like, in most, in most ways, it's, like, terrible. Like, the script doesn't make any sense. The actors are hard to understand. He's using, like, the same eight people, like, over and over again <laughs> in, like, different masks because he can't afford other people. Okay. No! Got him. <laughs> you dare drink in my presence? Better than nothing. Dickstab, the Lord of Cinder. <laughs> Instant parry. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> parry spam parry worked! Parry spam worked! <laughs> okay, now drink and parry to see what happens. Nope. Oh, that was the grab. That was the butt stab. Butt stabber? Butt stabber. That's the grab. Face grabber. Explodey hand. You literally got bounced into the wall. That's cool. Ah, oh, damn it. I got trapped against the rocks, and also I guess I was parrying a bunch when I should have been rolling. The amount, the, the, the ratio of parries to roll, I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> how much I need to do of each. I can't really tell when he's doing like a big swing and when he's not, and once you commit to either the parry or the roll, you're just kind of there. You know what happened? You got sloppy. I got sloppy. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, what was it? It's really weird, though, because, like, he made these movies, and he pretty much just prints them out and writes, like... He prints them out on DVDs, and he just, like, goes door-to-door -door and sells them. And he's like, there are, there are, like, communities in Uganda where, like, they'll... Together, they'll have, like, a group DVD player and, like, a TV, and they'll sit together and watch it. Um... Or some people have, like, TVs and stuff like that. And he just sells these, like, door-to-door. -door. And somehow, someone, they made their way to America. And someone else in America wanted them, so he started, like, shipping them to people. 
And it's like for five dollars you get like the, the DVD and like a signed poster and like a uh, a T-shirt that they made themselves and like all sorts of like neat stuff. And uh, basically, the more wait, why am I glowing like that? Because you had the region going. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So yeah, if you don't heal, just uh, keep running. You can see your uh, health bar eventually. It'll pretty be it'll be uh, pretty much full by the time you get down there. Neato. No, you killed him already. Oh. Don't, don't, don't fall off. I don't know how that happened. Out of my way. He wants to be your camera. No. Maybe you could tell people you just role-playing as a Black Knight now. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the, so the thing is, he, he, he makes these movies, he sells them, you can buy them online. It's like, not a good movie by any standards. But it's just the fact that he made a movie that's getting, like, sold in America with just, like, passion and $200. And I think the thing he says at the end of that, that review, he's like, if this guy in Uganda with $200 and inconsistent, uh, inconsistent electricity and no access to clean water can make a movie, why the hell can't you make a movie? Like, if you ever wanted to make a movie and you're not, there's no reason for you. Try to grab me, please. I did it! How many dick stabs do I gotta Single get? Single heal. <laughs> Maybe go for a double. <laughs> or heal parry. Ah. Damn. Why'd you have to tell me to go for a double, James? I could have, I could have done it with a single. Nah, nah. I, mm. I mean, he went for the slow windup, so you probably could have done two heals and then parried and still gotten it. I'm I just tried. saying. I'm just saying. I like, I had the the drink animation going, and I was just spamming on the parry button, but he didn't parry fast enough. Well, that's because you drank two and then you tried to drink again. Did I? Yeah. I thought I drank two. He went like then... chug chug, and then he pulled out the thing, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> it was a delay. It might have been an input delay thing, the though. Lazy train. That's one thing I never got. It's like, even now, the most recent freaking game, we still have input delay issues. Like, how? Alright. Fine, you wanna go? <laughs> I'll parry spam you to death, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Glug. He's like, oh shit, he's got heals. Nobody told me they were bringing healers to the fight. I mean, other people have heals. I'm not the only one. I'm gonna be sad when Gwen has, like, three forms. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? You're grinning pretty wide. It's like, this isn't even, this isn't even, like, the start of the fight. They're like, you're still waiting for me to, like, you think this is the final episode? No. <laughs> you gotta fight Gwen, and you've gotta fight Gwen Dragon Form, then you've gotta fight Nine Gates Gwen. <laughs> 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 Super Saiyan Nine Gates Gwen. Then, then, uh, he awakens his stand. He's like, Zawardo! He just goes all Jojo on you, drops the sword, and just starts fisticuffs. <laughs> <laughs> what about the disco? Want to get the disco? Oh. I'm dead inside. <laughs> oh, samurai. And then, like, the real Lord Gwen, and he's like, now you've defeated my butler. You've proven <laughs> yourself worthy to actually fight me. This was actually my third son I don't speak of. I called him Gwen because I just don't give a shit. I call everyone Gwen. I mean, he called his daughter Gwyn Guinevere, he called his son Gwendolyn. He he's clearly obsessed with his own name. No. <laughs> I didn't get the animation in time. God damn. 
Why is it taking so long? Will this be the longest episode of anything ever? Probably. I mean, we're up to like, what? 50 minutes. 50 minutes. I mean, that's usually where we'd call it. But, uh, I said this was going to be the final episode. Unless there's another form of Gwen, it's pretty much got to be the final episode. Everybody likes final episodes, especially when they're an hour and a half long. Yeah. And that's being very generous. <laughs> that's fine. People like the long episodes. They like to hear us talk about things and give our opinions. What do you think about that new Dark Souls 4 they, they revealed? It It's, uh, it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's garbage. I can't believe they moved it to modern day and had guns. And then put it in space. And also it's an FPS now. That's really weird. And they changed the names of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. <laughs> I don't know why they would do all that for Dark Souls 4. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Behold the Quandax. A cat with a body of a rabbit. And the head of a rabbit. What? It's just a rabbit. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a cat, but it, it's got the head and the body of a rabbit. <laughs> I'm going out on my own terms. I don't need nobody, all right? Gwen, James, Bootleg, all of them. They don't know about me and my, my troubles. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. I mean, except everybody watching. Nobody knows my sorrow. Except everyone watching. <laughs> I don't know why. I suddenly thought of that, like, the combination of that song and everybody who's watching, like, you think if slavery were still around today, the slaves would do live streams and rich white people would watch? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think they would. What? I think that would be, like, a big thing where they'd be like, if you watch this guy, he works so hard and he gets treated so badly, and then maybe that would help to end slavery. And then southern places would be like, no, due, due to uh, sympathy for the slaves, you're no longer allowed to live stream. What? I just... I just... You just went off on, like, a thing? I don't, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it was a thing. It was a thing. Yeah. That was a thing that happened. I was just, I was singing that old, like, I think it's a, it's a hymn or something, but I, I, I always remember the, the, like, nobody knows the troubles I've seen when it's, like, slaves working out in the field. <laughs> Why is this happening now? I used to be able to now? just run around him. I used to just be able to run around him. Now, now he's, he's no. He doesn't want that to happen anymore. I just don't understand this world and the people in it. But yeah, it just got me got me to thinking, like, if it was still alive, would they do, like, IRL streams of them, like, out in the field, and they'd be, like, making jokes into their face cams. And then, like, popular slave owners would be, like, making money off of it, or maybe they'd let them keep it so they could eventually earn their freedom. But then, like, if you earned your freedom by, like, being a slave on camera where people could watch you work, like, what would you then do with your life? Your only skills... Use that for your resume? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> first weird. of all, go north. I think that's the yeah. best option. Go north, first of all. It's just one of those things I know, like, I always think of, like, alternate history. And, uh, there's always, like, what if the South had won the Civil War? And it never really occurred to me that, like, you think there would still be slavery? Like, I think they would have eventually, like, with the with the Industrial Revolution going the way it was, eventually they would have they would have gotten it, gotten rid of it entirely. But who knows? Maybe they'd keep it just on like a moral standard. I don't know. It's weird. I I because uh, I've been watching a lot of history stuff lately. Oh, hey, if I use a miracle there, I'll get extra miracles or something. I don't know. Miracles get boosted. Yeah. But, um... It's weird where, like... What was it? At the... When, when the slave trade first, like, started, back in, in uh, like, early colonial times, there was no, uh... The idea that, like, black people were somehow inferior or were better fit to be slaves didn't really... Oh, I missed it. That's like if we're talking about slavery. Oh, great. Thanks, Gwen. You're my favorite boss. 
He's mad you're talking about slaves because he thinks you're one. Does he? I'm not a slave. I'm well, he definitely doesn't hate he or he doesn't uh, like humans. <coughs> I mean, it's heavily implied he's the one that gave humans the dark sign. What's the dark sign? The thing that keeps making you come back. Um, the, the thing that makes you undead. It's in your inventory if you want to look at it. Can I use it? Yeah. What does it do? Uh, it instantly makes you die and respawn at the bonfire. Huh. Weird. So if I use all of them, do I not respawn anymore? There is no all of them. It's one thing. It's a tattooed thing on your body, basically. It's constantly burning. Huh. <clears throat> Alright. Fine. <laughs> you wanna go? <laughs> if you wanna go, we'll go. He's like, hold on, man. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> yep. Man, that's what I was gonna say. It's so like, yeah. There, there's, there was no attempt. Like, slavery used to just be such a, a commonplace thing, or just something that was so widely practiced in the world that it was never thought of that like slaves were inferior, or that like any one race of people uh, would be slaves. It wasn't until America basically had to sort of explain why they were making people slaves when the rest of the world stopped doing it, that you sort of had all these arguments like against black people in particular, and sort of this rigor. There's there's like a bunch of uh, religious arguments from like the, uh, like right prior to the Civil War with all these preachers saying that like, oh no, in the Bible it says specifically that, that uh, people are supposed to be slaves. What? Yeah. It's just weird because it's like all the a lot of the the racist ideas that uh, that people have like in the 60s and that they carry with them today are basically done by like quote unquote scientists who were basically just trying to convince people to let them keep the slaves they already had. But it's like a fairly modern thing. Just weird. It's what happens when you spend 50 50 minutes. 58 minutes fighting the same guy over and over again. Start talking about slavery and shit. You just get off on weird topics. I'm like, did you know? What? No! Okay, still it still did worked it. out. <laughs> why did it why did it lock on to someone outside the fog wall? No! Wrong button. They're not even in the same spot. Okay. Okay, that didn't do hardly any damage. Gwen, just... Can I have a break? What's that? What's what? That, like, partially invisible thing on the ground. What thing? Like, over where Gwen was kneeling a moment ago, before he started fighting me. You mean the center? Yeah. That would be the center. Oh. I thought I saw, like, an invisible, like, a half-visible, like, spectral tree. I'm pretty sure you just saw a phantom of somebody else fighting over there. Oh. Lots of people are fighting Gwen. Trying to take him down. Because remember, it's a boss fight, so when you kill a boss, what spawns in the room? Bonfire. Oh. So that's like the spectral bonfire. No, it's just somebody that's next to that bonfire. It's where the bonfire will be. Yes. If I ever beat Gwen. Pro tip, though, if, if slash win, if you uh, actually beat the boss, don't just go and touch the bonfire, because... Uh, you gotta do something beforehand. Okay. I can't just teleport back. No, as soon as you kill him, the game is over. Then how can I do other stuff? Because there's a choice to be made. Ah. Neat. I like moral choice systems. Supposedly. That's what the marketing research tells me. <laughs> That's what EA said, so they're just gonna go along with it. They can't be wrong. Yep.
I mean, they make an Assassin's Creed game every year, so... No, they waited two years this time. No, they're full of shit. They made it, they waited two years for a full, co like, main console title, but in reality they were still releasing the DS and PS Vita games. <laughs> so they're full of shit. <coughs> like, we want to make sure until we got a full one. <coughs> Assassin's Creed, the new Madden. It was like Liberation or something like that. I don't, I don't know, whatever shun name they decided to go with for the next game. It's like every... Assassin's Creed, Dentistry Reborn. <laughs> you like Dentistry, right? <coughs> go back in the Animus and it turns out that you were just a slop farmer. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Spammy, spammy. Yep, who needs to live? I already fucked it up. <laughs> the world ends with me. And Gwyn in the Lord of Cinder. Big Hat! It's Big Hat! Did it restart? Yeah. We're, we're now on an hour and one minute. Oh, good. Yep. I, I have a timer going. I'm not sure if there's any point to keeping it anymore. Now it's just a timer of shame. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's just a timer of, like, how much patience does James not have anymore? That guy's just firing arrows down at it. He's gonna have a tough time with Gwyn if he is arrow- if he is ranged specced. Who is? There was, like, a ghostly phantom shooting arrows at that guy. Oh. From, like, way up on high. Maybe he's one of those guys that just, like, summons for everything, and just has his buddy come in with a giant hammer, and he sits in the corner and spams arrows. Oh, wait, I could summon someone from Lord Gwen, couldn't I? You could have summoned Solaire, but you let him die. No. Oh. I couldn't help it. I needed that maggot mask. <laughs> I mean, what about what about random and uh, regular people? I mean, you could, but uh, the, everyone would be disappointed in you. Would they? Definitely. Much disappoint. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm taking the health back. <laughs> he just healed what he stabbed you with. <laughs> You're dead. Go away. Don't come back. Your birthday party's over. And you lost. Yeah, that's right. You can lose at birthday parties now. Who says you can't? See, what happened was, is he didn't get to break the pinata, so now he's upset. Story of my life. I never broke the pinata, man. I never, quote unquote, broke the pinata, if you know what I mean. Ha, uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, question poke, mark. Poke, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Fonzie finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. Lol. All right, Gwen. No. Again? No. All right. That helped. Damn it. I keep I keep thinking that like Okay, I missed the first one, but I heard that chunk, so if I do it fast enough, I can get it on the second go, right? But you've done that so many times, and it's never worked. I know. I just get, I get in the moment. Everyone is like, it's, it's like the first time. Because I have to run so far. I have to fight things just to get to him. I mean, you don't have to fight anything, you just be like, fuck y'all. No, I tried that, remember, and they knocked me off. Yeah, you were doing it fine, and then somehow you've changed. I didn't change. He changed. The world changed. <laughs> You're still a new game, though. I'm still the same guy. Nah, you've changed, Damn it. man. See? Now you're fighting him, and you could just be like, Oh, well, he stabbed me. Who cares? Run. Now you're just take taking the stabs in the chest. I need to get rid of him so I can heal. No, you don't. He's dumb. 
You could be like ultimate disrespect and parry him and then heal in front of him and then parry him again and then heal again. Yay. I just need to, the Steam controller brought me so much glory, and now it's so much... Again, I just don't know, I, I can't focus. I don't know what it is. But I keep getting... I keep getting this button confused with this button. These two fingers. You can't see it at home, but I'm, I'm pointing to James and he's making a perplexed look. <laughs> Like, how could you get those two buttons confused? They're lighting them the same finger. No, they're not. He got a crit hit because you were rolling. I didn't even try to roll. Maybe I should just... No, I can't use the same finger for it. Damn it. If I could use the same finger, I think it would be less confusing. The problem is I think I end up hitting both of them. <laughs> What's the other one do? Uh, it rolls. One rolls and one is parry. Why don't you just use one finger for block and parry? Wait, why would I block? I just want to parry. Because I told you, if you block his first fast swing, then you can parry his second one. But when you're reeling from the animation of getting hit by the first one, you can't parry his second one. Oh. I wonder how much of his attacks I could just outright block if I just held block forever. Oh, uh, well, this thing has decent uh, stability, so you probably block two or three hits. And then maybe I could roll away and wait for him to jump at me, because that's the one I can do. So I just run away, wait for him to jump, and then... But only his initial jump. <laughs> only his initial jump. I see to run back to the fog wall and recreate it, that if he does the jump. If he does the jump with like the downward swing, you can't parry that one. Oh. I didn't know that. I figured you knew that after every time you tried and it was perfectly timed and still didn't work. I figured it was. I can't tell if I'm perfectly timing and just messing up or if it's... If I'm just messing up. Like if it's perfectly timed and it doesn't allow it or if I missed the timing. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I think the only the only way I know that that uh, that first one is because of the music. Okay. What you do is just go back to B for roll. I think that'll be better. Oh! Damn it! Don't do the same thing twice in a row! That's cheating! I mean, you're doing the same thing, one, one thing over and over. Whoa! Back! Oh, I'm already dead. <laughs> I was like, okay, I missed the first one. Roll! Oh, wait, no, I can't roll. I'm already dead. Don't cry for me, Argentina. It's okay. This is nothing to Ornstein and Smo. I beat them. I can beat this guy. But I beat them. Did you? Yeah. I thought I beat them. No, remember you said finally, fuck it, you beat him for me, I quit. I don't remember that. Well, I don't think you specifically said I quit. You were just like, this is taking way too long, and I think we're going to be stuck here. Well, so then I, so then I fought them twice and beat them on the second fight. I can't do that with I can't do that with the final boss, James. You can't. Everyone will shame you forever. They're I already know. shaming you for Ornstein and Smo. I mean, they weren't until you reminded them. <laughs> I could have just had some revisions, revisionist history there. You're like, yeah, Joe, you beat them, and it was great. It took like an hour, but you were finally triumphant. <laughs> uh, if only it was only an hour. <laughs> Actually, how long? That that episode I'm, was I'm like... curious now. It wasn't. I'm pretty sure we were on there for like two or three episodes. Nah, I think it was. I think it was one hour long episode, but I cut it down from what it was originally. That's right. We had like one session, and the entire thing was just fighting them. Yeah, kind of like this. Although we did we did kill Nito like a few hours ago. <laughs>
<laughs> that's See, so point. that's something else. We did something else. Yeah. Nito was dead a while ago. This guy will be dead eventually. Yeah, it might seem that I'm just, like, not doing consistently better against him, but just sort of, like, you know, can, can, uh, just at random seem to slightly do better. But that's just how this game works. The, the important part is I get the one good thing off against him. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, if you run out of stamina, you get guard broken. There we go. Yeah, if you stand close to him, he'll keep trying to do the swings, but you keep running away, so he keeps going back to his other things. Are you trying to kick me? Yeah, he'll guard break. That's because you had the shield up. Grab. <laughs> hey, I got a drink in before he grabbed. That's the important part. Oh, <laughs> this kick doesn't do that much damage. It's just sort of like a slap in the face. Yep. It's like his equivalent of a backhand. He's like, you, what, you learned to guard? You think that'll stop me? It, it won't stop him. It's a sad state of affairs. I think I can at least start stop cutting, start cutting out this, and we'll just we'll just be back when we get to the the actual fight fights. Unless you got anything else that you you wanted to bring up while we're here, I think we already talked about just about everything Dark Souls related we could talk about. I mean, there's the painted world you never went to. Didn't I? I don't think we did. I, I got a I got a painter like sword. That's a painting guardian sword. You yeah. never actually went to the painting. Huh. Dot roll. So what's what's in the painted world? A Is boss that's invisible. How do you fight him? Very carefully. <laughs> um. Swing at random and hope you hit him. <laughs> Do you get anything cool for beating him? I mean, you can turn her ta her. Uh, if you cut her tail off, you get a weapon. Oh boy. And also, you can use her soul to make a scythe. Neat. Scythes are cool. They're pretty neat. I I agree. Oh, okay. Just there we go. Is the other guy behind me? I don't want the other guy to be behind me. I would prefer if he was not. It's okay, I've got constant healing. All I gotta do is block forever against Lord Gwyn and I'm good. <laughs> yeah, but he chip damages, which is gonna do out uh, it's gonna outdo the healing. You need to have like replenishment active. Something like that. I'm trying to anime fight you. Nope, I'm, I fucked it up. Gotcha. Damn. Nope. <laughs> I was a fool it. to try to block! Running all around, getting to the sound. Everybody knows it's hard away. Doing all the things till I get the sings. Do 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 do. It's hard leg. What can you say? Who is Bay? I bet that it's not hard leg. <laughs> it's probably a ghost. It has the most. 
things that to get except hard leg. Do 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 do. Is this gonna be and on the there soundtrack? Is aimless James too. <laughs> do 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 and hard leg. <laughs> Music and lyrics by Hard Lake Joe. So when does the album come out again? Uh, tomorrow. A lot of people are saying they would buy like an EP from me because I made I made those uh, acapellas and people think they're really good, even though I don't think they're all that fancy. Yeah, I double drink. Why wouldn't I? Not like it's gonna be useful. Unless I die with, from Gwen when I have nothing left. <laughs> it probably doesn't help that we've been going for like, what, three and a half hours? Something like that. And it may or may not be past 12.30 now. It is. I'm usually up to 2 a.m. anyway. Although I did have other stuff I wanted to record, but that's out the window! <laughs> For some reason, I didn't think the final boss would be that hard. Okay. Okay. Yay! Damn it. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> if I had drank instead of doing that slash, but then everything falls like a second behind, it's like, okay, it's fine, I missed the opportunity to drink, I'll just drink now, and then by the time I start drinking, I realize that that was a mistake. Yep. Maybe if people spam in the comments a bunch of motivational crap, it'll help. How would that? It's in the future. So? No. Time is convoluted! Haven't you been paying attention? No. Yes. Is this time? This is time. Hmm. But it's convoluted. Solaire said so, so it has to be true. Running jump, man! Alright. Attempt number 350,000. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. He was looking kinda dumb with a fire and his thumb and I rolled, but it didn't roll the way I rolled. Well, the years start coming, they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live full front. Brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. Singing didn't help me. <laughs> Somebody once asked her to spare some change for gas. Need to get myself away from this place. I said, yep, what a Gwen sept. I could use a little Gwen myself and we could all use a little Gwen. The Gwen start coming and they don't start coming. Fed to the rules and hit <laughs> the ground running. Didn't make sense that the Gwen full front. Brain gets smart, but your head gets Gwen. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? Never know if you don't Gwen. You never shine if you don't Gwen. Hey now, you're a Gwen star. Get your show on, get Gwen. Hey now, you're a Gwen star. Get the rock on. Smash Mouth is not helping me in this situation. Fidgeted. That was weird. Like I guess I rolled into the rocked. <laughs> Why? Hey, that's that one I was talking about, replenishment. Yep. It makes replenishing. 
And you said Havel armor probably wouldn't help me there. No. Nope. Because he was going to knock me around like, like a baby doll, even if I have all the, the Havel armor. I can't drink through his attacks. One inside, two swings takes half your health. It's not like the other ones where you can just tank most of it. I don't know, you can try it. I can't remember what the fire resistance is on Havel's armor. The main reason Havel's armor works so well is just because it has like really good physical defense. Like ridiculously high physical defense. I guess it would have higher fire resistance, though. If you were somehow able to combine his shield ability with it, then... Shield ability? Yeah, his shield has an ability to uh, put, like, a rock shell around your body. Huh. Isn't there some fire thing that makes me invincible? Yes, uh, iron flesh. Why is that a fire power? Didn't fit in any other category. <laughs> I guess. I guess because it's like the opposite of what the other one does. Because there's another one that does like a flesh thing, but it makes you like super sweaty. Super sweaty? It basically makes your body like produce sweat at such a rate that it makes like a almost barrier of resistance to fire. It's called flash sweat. Or something like that. Get parried! And then not repousted. Get parried again, and then repousted. Okay, stay closer this time. There you go. Remember, keep on him. No! Nope. Oh! <laughs> I thought there was one! <laughs> I got you, Quinn. I got your face and my hands. Load up all the rocket fuel. Put it on a spaceship. It's about time. You okay there? No. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. I will never be okay again. They told me to get good. They didn't know that in order to get good, it would cost me my humanity. Uh, actually, they did, because you don't have humanity right now, so uh, they, they knew. Challenge. So, you want to kill me here, do you? What are you doing? Guys, I'm concerned. I think I think Joe might have actually gone hollow. Try, oh, yeah. Trying to fight Gwyn. Because now he's just mindlessly fighting all of the ads. <laughs> How come two backstabs didn't kill him? Two backstabs was supposed to kill him. To repost kills him. <coughs> repost does more than a backstab? Well, yeah. One doesn't take any skill at all. And the other does. Backstabs takes lots of skill. Uh-huh. Holding left. Hey, I hold right sometimes. <laughs> Knowing the difference of when to do one or the other can make all the difference in the world. But doing one or the other really doesn't matter. Need knight. Do you need a knight? I need Solaire. But you let him die. You let your only friend die. I didn't know I, I didn't have the ability to save him when I ran into him. There's nothing I could do. Rematch. <laughs> Get fucked. They are very fire resistant. Not fire resistant enough, apparently. Thank you. Watch my own blood stain? No, thank you. 
I may be a sadist, a creep, pervert, Chinese, but I'm not a sadist. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. I want to have control. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. I want you to notice when I'm not around. You're so fucking special. I wish I was special. <laughs> but I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. Oh, oh, he's running out the door. Oh, he's not taking that shit. He run. Oh, I'm not dead. <laughs> His first. Well, that was weird. That swing missed. Yeah, it was just. I was like sitting there for a second. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I don't know why I'm not dead. He was captivated by the singing. I, I like to think so. I should have kept it up. I would have done. Music would have tamed the savage beast with the big brown hair and the no underwear. You know he doesn't have any. Don't pretend like he does. But his hair's white. You always gotta be right, don't you? <laughs> what is he even hoping for? I mean, what is his life? You what know what you I should do? Know? You know should do for your Dark Souls 2 run? You should do great bows. Okay. Whatever you say, James. You're my friend. You stuck through me through thick and thin. I was t I'm talking about your hair. It's got thicker and thinner as we've, we've been here. Not like my hair. My hair just gets thinner. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I have achieved enlightenment. I have achieved nirvana. I am I am in Dark Souls Paradise. My my words just flow out like diarrhea out of a, a Mexican street floor. After many long nights. No, Gwen. Not today. I have come to claim you. I am a broken man. You cannot break me any more than I already am. I'm just going to backstab you. Don't tell me. Did I, did I just stun Gwen? Yes, you did. It took like six hits, but it stunned him. Take this opportunity to drink and drink alike. No, Gwen. You're not allowed. To take this opportunity to drink. No, Gwen. I'm gonna take this opportunity to drink. I am dead inside. Nothing can save me now. Nothing can save you now. It is only me and my own dark soul. No. My reverse psychology has failed. My attempt to, to hide my fratricide. Gwen, why have you killed me? We could have been beautiful together, Gwen. We could have had so much more. Our souls could have merged together to form the perfect pitch black dark soul. Instead, here I am, like Sisyphus, eternally running downhill except instead of pushing a rock back uphill I get to the rock 
and the rock kills me. <laughs> and then it throws me back down the hill, and it says, run back up, hard leg Joe. Actually, it throws you back up the hill and says, get the fuck back over here. Yeah, and get down here. Try to push me up the cliff. Oh, wait, I've got a giant fire sword. Greek mythology would be very different if it was written by the people who did Dark Souls. You dare to defile me? Who do you think you are? My mother? I don't think you are. You're uh, not nearly fat enough. Is this how you treat your mother? Jeez, that was rude. She backstabbed me first. <laughs> I was having a nice, comfortable nap in her womb, and then suddenly she brought me into this world. We're here. I had to be a Dark Souls champion. I could have been safe there for at least, I mean, how old is she? She's like 60. I could have spent 60 more years just happily safe in her womb. I wouldn't have problems. I wouldn't have to pay rent as an as a unborn fetus. I, I wouldn't have to pay my utility bail, bill. I wouldn't have to directly worry about war. I mean, war is a threat to my mother, is a threat to me, but, you know... I don't have, you know, I wouldn't have to vote. I wouldn't have to choose political affiliation. All these things that could have happened if I was just not born. Not that I wanted to be unborn, I just wanted to, to stay, stay I in mean, a safe place. You'd, you'd have to think of a political decision there, though, because I'm definitely sure you would have a very different stance on abortion. And, I mean, but there's nothing I can do about it. I can't vote from inside the womb. Sure you can. You Not just be me. like, yeah, you could yell. <laughs> they can hear it. Like, hey! They could, they could hear no, it. No! No. No. <laughs> I'm still alive in here. I may not have been born, but I, I still count. Also, if there's any girls out there who would like to climb inside... What the fuck is this? I'd still like to have a relationship. <laughs> This is by far the weirdest episode I've ever oh, been a part of. <laughs> My virgin unbornness will be your downfall. <laughs> no, Gwen. Damn. He just jumped you over the rock. You're in the safe rock. You can heal. <laughs> I could not heal as much as I wanted. Thank you, Gwen. I will take my drink now. I don't need to dodge, I can just constantly go around him. Poke. I a roll did not work the way I thought it would work. Why are you still fighting, Gwen? Why am I still fighting? Why are any of us still fighting? Why can't we just all be friends? That's the thing about dreams. They can make for interesting stories, and that they can also just be like... I once heard someone say that if someone says, want to hear about my dream, it's like the worst thing they could possibly hear. Because they're like, you mean this thing that has no relevance on anything ever, never will. No, Except dreams are images from the future. I don't know. I've, I've gotten a lot of inspiration from my dreams. I've written a lot of songs in my dreams. The uh, the deck build challenge song, I think I woke up from a dream and then like just sort of sang it into my cell phone and then later like came up with words to it. But like the da 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 like I just heard that in a dream and then woke up from it and then recorded it. That's weird. Yep. And then likewise there there are stories <laughs> He's doing a spinny spin. He a backstab. He's using a great axe. Yep. He a big, big weapon for big, big bang bang weapon. All right, Gwen. I I forgot that I was fighting Gwen for a second. Okay. All right, Gwen. That's that's all I could say to you at this point. It's just BK, I want to have it my way. No, Gwen. I think as long as, maybe as, as long as I stay on that side of him, I can trick his AI into just being like that move. And that move.
Okay, now I will drink. If you don't mind. I will partake. Oh, oh it's pretty close. I don't want to get all excited Circle because strength. it's fucking Gwen. You got it! I did it! How did I- I didn't even say anything clever or nothing! Wasn't even the power of improv? No, it was the power of going hollow. Going completely hollow. Lord and that's Gwyn, what it took. Lord of Cinder. Finally dead. Sir, see, circle strafing did help me. So now, um, before you touch the bonfire, you have two choices. I can go up here, I guess? Nope. If you touch the bonfire, you take Gwyn's place and become the new kindling. And the fire will basically burn your souls and your body as huh. the uh, thing to basically keep the Age of Fire going. Or, you can tell the Age of Fire to go fuck itself and leave. But, um... Isn't the Age of Fire like humanity in general? The Age of Fire is the Age of the Gods. The a the Basically, like, if you let the fire fade, humanity would eventually take over. So, go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why exit. I said leave. <laughs> I didn't know that. Was, I thought leave back the way I came. This is back the way you came. Oh, is it? Yeah, you just walked up to the... Oh, it's <laughs> such a nice face. I'm pretty spooked. We are here to serve your highness. I'm a king? I'm very unhappy about this. You're the Dark Lord. You took the arguably bad ending. As in bad guy ending, or evil ending. But technically there's not really a good or bad ending. So am I still undead? Yep. Returnst? That ruined it for me. This is because the game was 10 out of 10 until they said returnst. Yay! Or now wait, for the greatest original Dark Souls. It, this is for the greatest, the, the greatest thing about uh, this game. You see, um, unskippable credits that right. last forever, except not. Ha! Uh, <laughs> well, you just trick me into. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to give credit to the people who made it. It's been such a long journey. It doesn't even feel real. It is isn't a, real. Is cause look. It's it's been a couple years, but uh, you might remember this. This is the beginning. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Didn't you say we would eventually come back here? Yeah, that was to get the doll to go to the painted world. Oh. They are locked yeah, we never came back. <laughs> nope. Wait. I guess the end of the world is me being disturbed by a bunch of snakes, as I do something, I don't know. You become the Dark Lord. This and plunge the world into an age of darkness. Wait, I keep all my stuff there? Yep. Undead rats. Why do they even scurry? Now when you say scurry, are you saying why are they scary, or why do they scurry around? Oh, that I'm face. I'm still sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to believe. Hello, Oscar. Hello. It's like, sup, bro? Have this body. I like to believe that after I became king, all the snakes just immediately dropped me back into this prison with all the armor and everything. And just went and respawned yeah. everybody. <laughs> okay, I'll start it again. I'll see if he picks the right ending. <laughs> so I can't, I can't go back and pick the right ending. Nope. Does you it... have you are officially now in New Game Plus. Everything is now uh, much harder. Huh. Everything has more health. A lot more health. Do these have more health? No, they still die in one hit. I mean, that's because you have a in-game weapon. Yay. And they have no armor. But yeah. So does the is the New Game Plus changed at all depending on what ending you pick? Nope. Okay. So the ending is ultimately just... the ending is meaningless. The ending is just what you see. Is there a canonical one for the the going into Dark Souls 2? Nope. Dark Souls 2 has nothing to do with this game. It's not even I thought it was in the same world. Nope. But like things This were... is in Lord's Run. The 2 happens in Drain Lake. 
Does three have anything to do with the other ones? Three has to do with all of them. Huh. In fact, at some point, you will actually end up, like, walking on the ruins of, like, others, like, all of the different areas, like, collapsed on top of each other. Well, we have that to look forward to. Yeah, and, like, but... like you know, what, what, what would it be, like, eight years we'll get to Dark Souls 3? Something like that. I mean, eventually. I think it was Dead Lake Frank who said he wanted to, uh... He wants to do two, right? No, Dead Lake Frank wants to do three, because that oh, was the first one three. he played. Of course, scrub. <laughs> yep, and then Bootleg wants to do two, so... I, I'm sorry, I'm not more excited. I probably should be more excited. We fi throughout The three-year journey is at an end, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Well, two and a half. But <coughs> yeah, it was July, so... Almost three years. Yeah. Like, I, I've, I've officially beaten Dark Souls for the first time. I'm not sure if I'm going to New Game Plus it up. Um, I, It'd be fun to go back. Maybe on stream you can comment in the comments... What's well, you know what? Let's uh, ju just for the just for the sake of it, let's just round out the last fifteen minutes. Why don't you go fight the very first boss again and see how that's like, okay. with a with a plus five weapon. Don't even try to deal with running out. Just run up to this guy and kick him in the nuts. Just kick him in the nuts. He's gonna fall down. He's gonna be like raw, and then you're gonna be like fuck you and burn his face. Burn his face with my energy legs. Burn his face. Go. That is that is the opposite of burning his face. Someone else is dying here. What was that supposed to hurt me? Oh, that hurt me. Yeah. Fuck you. That took way less demon. than the 15 minutes. <laughs> Yay. And now you don't even have to do the tutorial, you can just go out the door and get the fuck out. And I got my first humanity. Let's just be wary of falling. I don't need to fall. It's it's locked. Do you have to still go up there? I, oh, wait. That, why is it locked? I can't remember now. Oh, that's right, because you had to still talk to Oscar. Because oh, he's, okay. he's supposed to, air quotes, give you the flask. But I already but he also the get, flask. So now he gives you the key. Uh, just do that. I can't level up. Nope, can't level up till you leave. Get your shield. Don't don't tell me about things. You don't tell me what to do. You're not my supervisor. I'm just gonna face tank all these arrows. Don't even give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about you. Hand axe. Oh oh great. Glad I have your one of starter those. weapon. Aren't you glad? I'm back here. I'm gonna touch you in the butt. <laughs> Backstabbery. But yeah, any any final thoughts you guys have? Like I said, Aimless James will return. We're going to do something else with him. I'm not exactly sure what, but we'll figure it out. Probably play uh, a game. Oh yeah, we'll, be, we'll definitely play a game of some kind. I'm just not sure what game. Maybe you'd like to take a, a break from long-term things we could do. Oh yeah, the, the thing has to... Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. I'll tank, I'll tank a giant ball. Hey, you don't have to talk to him either. Just go and smack him in the face. Oh, I'm done for. Smack him in the face! Be evil! This is your evil run now. Perhaps I was too hopeful. You were. <laughs> but why? There you go. Because you had all the keys. That's why. Now you can just go down the stairs on the right. Stairs on the right. There you go. Yay! And just and go I'll to the get, boss room get, and get, get a big, big uh, old bird. Just and then we'll have the bird carry us to the to the credits. Yeah, <laughs> it has been a long, fun journey. Like I said, uh, it just seems like after after fighting him for so long, it's like that that final run barely seemed real. It was just like it would it, it happened. I guess he's shell shocked. I guess. I, I don't know. Again, I guess it, it's also a matter, like, I didn't really look into the lore, but then again, the lore is, like, kind of hard to find in this game. You have to, like, read descriptions of items and stuff like that. Which yeah, that, is fun to do have... on your own, but not so much. That's why we have Vadi Vidya. Yeah. Well, that's why we have Mark. you here to tell us about the lore. And then me, who just watches a bunch of people and then tries to remember which ones were bullshit and which ones weren't. <laughs> 
Yeah, I can't forget about Epic Name Bro. He's like the he's like the pinnacle of at least understanding what thing is fact and what thing is, you know, opinion. <laughs> well, anyway, thank thanks for everyone who showed up all this time. We we'll watched through the whole thing. It's been a fun journey. Here's to Dark Souls 2 and something else with Aimless James. Yeah. I'm holding the brofist. You can't see it, but I'm I'm brofisting Aimless James. Brofist. That's how I, I want to go out on this. Just just. And then birdie time. Yep. We. A familiar old place. Signifying that it never ends. I'm so fat. <laughs> that character is so. F I made him. Where's so the fat. tree? I just realized that. Where's that tree? What tree? That tree. That wasn't in the video. Huh. Weird. Hey, a guy. Yeah, I know. I know how to do this. I've done this before. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Have fun. Comment in the comments if you comment in the comments. Comment in the comments if you comment in the comments. If you like these guys, please subscribe.